At the end of each day, the account balance report is printed as a part of the all-in-one report. But what are you supposed to do with this information? This short video will help you learn to quickly identify students whose balances require your attention and decide what is the best course of action to take. Grab the most recent account balance report printed in your all-in-one and we'll get started. The account balance report by date will show a list of students who have negative balances after today's meals. The list shows you the student's information, eligibility code, and their balances. We are concerned with the last column, the total balance. When you are examining the list, it is helpful to understand the student's situation by using their eligibility code. One is free, two is temporary free, which expires on September 26th, five is reduced, six is temporary reduced, expiring September 26th, eight is elementary full pay, 16 is full pay middle school, and 18 is full pay high school. For example, high balances on a full pay student should be high priority for you to address, while high payments on a student who is free is outstanding balance that is no longer accumulating and would be lower priority. You should also consider the sum of the negative balance for students of different statuses. In SOP 3, the collection of monies and charge policy, a balance of negative $35 for a full pay student and a balance of negative $7 for a reduced student should be communicated to your principal. If your principal has a 6A on file with Nutrition Services, you could simply copy the account balance report and highlight the students with high balances and turn it over to your principal. Remember, if your principal doesn't have a 6A on file or if you are unsure if they do, always use a black marker to void out the eligibility code column. You may also want to ask your principal's assistance in contacting a family who is free but has an extreme negative balance. A payment plan could be suggested to this family. The account balance report can help you identify issues with student status as well. For instance, if Dick and Jane are siblings and Dick appears on the account balance report but Jane does not, that is a clue that the students may not have been connected through direct certification or a parent forgot to include Dick on the benefits application when they applied. Or if Dick appears and Jane does not, it could indicate a problem with Dick's student ID or an account problem such as a duplicate ID. If you suspect there is a problem with the student status based on this report, please report this issue to NSEligibility at USD259.net to be investigated. Nutrition Services relies on parents and you, the one source operator, to identify these problems since we are not familiar with the students who could be related or might be living in the same household. We hope you now have a better idea of how to use this report. If you have more questions or would like additional training, please contact Mary or Megan. This institution is an equal opportunity provider.